What's up guys, Erwinsack here, back at it again with another video, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to flood or remove your search history on your school Chromebook. I'm really excited to show you guys today's video, and I really hope you all enjoy it. But before I get into the tutorial, make sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can hit 70,000 subscribers. Also, make sure to go follow my Twitter, linked in the description below, I post YouTube updates, random stuff, and if you're interested, the link never leaves the description below. You know what else is in the description below? My Discord invite, so make sure to join. You can chat with me and the other members, contribute to YouTube videos, and so much more like fun game nights. I'm not going to waste any more of your guys' time, let's just get straight into the video. Hey guys, here are all the membership shoutouts for today's video, make sure to go subscribe to the channels, and let's just get back to the video. Big thank you to our Discord boosters. Alrighty guys, so before we start this tutorial, you will need to go to this website, which will be linked in the description below and this is method one on how to flood and remove your search history on your school Chromebook. So basically what you want to do here is highlight this code in this Google Doc here. Right click, click copy and if this Google Doc is blocked for you it will be in the description below for you guys to copy and paste or you can pause the screen for a second and attempt to copy it yourself which is not a good idea. So just go to the description. Then go to the top here, right click, add page, name it flood history, then double click to to highlight this entire URL, delete it, and then paste the code inside of it. Click save. So when you run this bookmarklet, it will flood your history of whatever page you are currently on. So if you want it to flood this Google Doc, flood YouTube, flood Gmail, you can do that. But for tutorial purposes, I'm just going to have it flood the Google Doc since it's easier. Click on it, history flood amount. Let's just do 30 for testing because we don't want to blow up our computer and we have nothing to hide. Click OK. Then it says history flood successful. Click OK. Now you can click the three dots up here, history, and you can see it flooded your history for however many times you chose for it to do so. This is useful if you searched up something you're not supposed to, like games and other stuff. So if the teacher looks at your history, you can kind of bury it down as much as you can to kind of hide it. Now onto the second more effective method. All right, so basically what you want to do is go to the app store on your iPhone or Android and search up Google Chrome and download it. Once it's downloaded, just open it and sign in with your school account. Make Make sure it's your school account. Also make sure to click the sync button so it syncs with all of your devices so you can clear the history. Now I'm going to go google some things on my school chromebook and delete them on here to show you guys. Alright let's just search up something random like bing.com. Search that up. Let's just also do youtube for an example as well. Now we can go to our history here. Click on it and you can see I searched up youtube and bing here. Now go back onto your phone and click the three dots here. Scroll here. Click on recent tabs. Show full history. History, and you can see we searched up YouTube and Bing on here. All you have to do is click clear browsing data. We can do browsing history for the last hour, then click clear browsing data, clear, then click done, done. Now check our history here on our school Chromebook, click history, history again. We can see that Bing and YouTube are gone and it's only showing my search history from December 2nd, which at the time of this recording is December 26th, which means this browser clearing method worked. And to prove I'm not faking it, I'm going to click clearing browsing data here. I can't clear my browsing data because it's managed by administrator. So yeah guys, these are two effective methods of clearing your browser data and flooding your browser data on your school Chromebook. Enjoy. Thank you all for watching. Here are all the shoutouts for today's video and if you want to be featured in one of my videos, just comment down below. I subscribed and I'll give you a shout out in my next video. Anyways guys, really hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.